Okay. Hi guys. So welcome to my channel. And um, as you can see down below in the description box, today we're gonna be going over gauges. Um the shit. That shit hurting. First things first. <laughs> But it's really not. Like, I mean, when I first started, it wasn't that painful for me. Um, it just got more painful as I went up in sizes. So the larger or the more I wanted to stretch them, the bigger I wanted to stretch them, the more painful it became. Um, because as you get, as you go up in the gauge sizes, um, for some reason, I don't know who came up with this idea, but <laughs> it um, like becomes, instead of it being like one, two, three, four, five, six, it goes, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's no 7s. There are no 7s, excuse me. There are no 7s. There are no 9s. So you're going to go from 6 to 8. You're going to go from 8 to, to 10. Then from 10, you're going to go to 12. And you're going to, you know, if you want to go larger than that, it's up to you. So with that being said, imagine you're, you're trying to stretch two sizes, basically. It's, it's not a good thing. I mean... It's not a good feeling. Um, so I ordered all of mine off of Amazon. Um, I got these. They came in this cute little case. Um, everything kind of packaged individually in there. Um, so let's go ahead and take some of them out. I started, I didn't start from the bottom, thankfully. <laughs> I started at a number four. I mean, I'm sorry, a number three, which is right here. So I started at three and I only had those in maybe a few days, honestly. Like I didn't keep them in that long because it wasn't really painful. Um, and so I was like, I'm ready to go up. I'm ready to move up. Um, then I went to four, as you can see here. Um, four was of course still not as painful. It was just like, okay, like I can do this. But when I went up to um, five, it was a little bit of a jump, but it still wasn't as bad as what I'm going through right now. Um, and then right now I'm in six. So going from six to eight, as I've just mentioned, it's two digit, it's a two digit jump. Um, so it's not as easy, um, which would be these here, the eights. And I did get different colors as well. Um, I ordered like a whole lot of different, a whole lot of different kids, honestly. Um, I got pink, which came with every single size that I just named as well. I got green and I got blue. Um, but you guys will probably see that eventually in my videos. Um, but as of right now, we're just going over stretching. So, um, I believe these are considered silicone. Don't get me to like tell me stories. I really don't know for sure. But these are not metal like these. Um, and these metal ones, unfortunately, are not as long as these are. Let me just take one out so you guys can really see how big it actually is for real, um, or how long it is. So there is a huge difference <laughs> in those, um, in the lengths of those. So me personally, um, and from the videos I watched, it's better to use, um, in my opinion, I feel like it'll be better to use this one. Um, just because it'll be a lot easier. This one is just very heavy. It's not as long as, like I said. Um, and it's just, I don't know. I just prefer to do this one. I don't know. Because I heard the longer ones are better, honestly. Um, I heard if you use the shorter ones, um, it may cause your ear to, like, bust and stuff. And I don't really want to go through that. Um, and I haven't experienced that just yet, thankfully. And I did watch um, Easy Breezy's video, um, which I will leave the link to that in the description box. Um, if you guys are interested in watching her video as well, you can do that. Um, what she did was she got a rag. She got a cup of hot water. And you put the rag in the hot water. I'm not going to put my whole rag in there because um, that shit is hot. And I don't want to burn the shit out of myself. So I'm just going to put that in there. Um, okay. That is actually very hot. And then, let me go ahead and actually, let me sit that in there again. Because I need to take out my jewelry yet. Let me take out this ear. Take that out. And sit that there. And then I'm going to take the rag back out of the water. And clean it a little bit and kind of apply this hot water. She said this helps with 
like basically stretching your ear and preparing it um preparing it for the stretching you're about to do to it um because like i said before you don't want your ears to bust it's not a good feeling it's not a good thing at all um you don't want pussing or bleeding or anything so kind of just take your time really don't rush it um i tried to kind of like push myself at one point to um like just kind of hurry up and get it done and that's not a good idea so don't do that <laughs> And when I did that, I was in so much pain. Like, I literally almost passed out. Um, I could not take it. I had to take it out. And I had to just say, you know, I'm going to wait another week or so and just give my ears a little time because they're not liking this shit at all. Um, okay. I feel like they're ready now. I might really don't know. She didn't leave hers on there that long. Um, and then I'm going to put some lubricant or I use just oil, regular oil, whatever oil I got at the house. Me personally... Um, you can actually, um, you know, of course, get you some lubricant. It's up to you. Um, I personally just have not did all that. So I'm just going to use what I got at the house. It's still been working for me just good. I mean, just as good. Um, I haven't had any issues. At one point, I was using Vaseline. I know they say don't use Vaseline, but at one point I was. Right now, I'm using just oil that I got at my house, so... Um, we will see how this works. And what I did learn from her as well is that, because at first I was like, damn, like, because they say don't leave your beaver. These are tapers, excuse me. I did not explain that. These are your tapers. And so your actual jewelry is what I just had in my ear, which looks like this. It's the little circles. So this is what you want to put in your ear. You don't want to leave this in your ear. This is not jewelry, um, as everyone who has gauges will tell you. Um, but with this, she says she leaves her in um, for a few days. I think she said... By the 10th day, it should be all, all the way through. But as your days are going by, you pretty much want to kind of try to gradually press them through your ear. Um, not too hard. Once it starts to feel like you're, you know, it's a little intense feeling. Like right now, I'm feeling a little pressure. Um, which is, as you can see, I'm really not even, it's like not even anywhere really in there. For real, it's still got a lot more left to go. I'm gonna try to push it a little bit more. Um, but I'm not going to try to bust my ears. Like that's definitely not what I'm going for here. So I'm just gonna push that through. Um about right there, pretty much. That's as far as it's going right now. Um and I'm just gonna slide my back piece on so it doesn't come out. Um and like I said before, I didn't know that you could even do this. I didn't know that you could just put it in your ear and leave it in for a few days and kind of just press it through as you kind of gradually can, um, which is a lot. I mean, to me, that makes the whole process a lot simpler. It's not as painful. Um, you don't have to rush it. Like, I've kept these, the six of them that I just had. My six gauges, I wore six mm's. I kept them in um, for about four fucking weeks because I was so afraid of the pain that I felt when I did this ear. And I actually got this, when I did this ear and I pressed my taper through, I got it all the way in there. But my ear was so, like in so much pain and it was swollen, I could not take it. I just, I couldn't deal with it. So <laughs> I took it right back out, put my um, jewelry back in and was like, you know what? Cause they say it. Well, I watched this other girl's video. I can't remember my name. I believe her name is Ashley, but I'm really, not really sure. But she said, um, if it ever feels like it's just too much pressure on your ears, just take it out, give it a little more time. Like, do not press yourself to try to stretch your ears really, really fast or really quickly. You will be in a lot of fucking pain, okay? So, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ear. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Take that out. And thankfully, like I said, I don't have any pussing or bleeding or anything like that going on. My ears are just... I don't know, they're just there, like, <laughs> doing their thing. Um, they don't get too irritated or anything like that. Um, but I do say, I will say this. When I had my second hole pierced, which I do have two right here, it's one right here, um, and one here. Um, my second hole piercing, I kind of feel like that interferes with my process. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm not sure if somebody can please comment below and let me know if they have that issue or they feel like that's that plays a um, part. Because I'm really not sure. Um, but it definitely seems like it to me because it seems like every time I do it, I can feel the pressure in the, in both piercings, like in 
my top or well, my first piercing and in my um second hole as well and definitely does not feel good um this water's getting a little oh you know no it my rag is just a little cold again <laughs> i don't know but yeah um so you definitely want to just do your research look stuff up try different shit and go from there like i said shit my second ear hole feels like to me it's kind of causing me to go a little slower than I would like. I'm not sure if that's really what it is or it's just me being a pussy. I'm really not sure. But I'm not even a pussy. Like, I have a really hot pain tolerance, as you can see. I'm tatted up. Um, and none of my tattoos really hurt, so I'm not really sure what the hell. Uh, my worst piercing is my nose ring. Well, it was, um, in my opinion. But I got this one pierced, and it didn't hurt. But this side was a mother. Like, it was terrible. I hated it so much. Um, and I always say that, oh, I would never go get it pierced again if it came out. But honestly, I don't have that issue now. I've had my nose ring for about maybe eight years. <laughs> eight or nine years at that. Um, I've had my nose ring a long time. I've had it since high school when I was, like, a sophomore or something like that. Um, so, yeah. I might have been, like, a senior, though. I don't know. So I definitely was not a grown child or anything like that. My mom just... Um, I just have good mom. So like when we did actually want stuff, she would just try to like kind of try to consider it. Um, and let us do it at a certain time period, basically. Like she wouldn't let us do everything our friends were doing, but she definitely eventually would be like, okay, well, as it grew, as she, as we got older and as she kind of like grew into it or learned more about it, I guess, she would just be like, okay, that's cool. Like if you still want it at this point in time, then okay. Like that's pretty much how it went for us. I actually want to know if you guys can recommend some good lubricants to use because um, I definitely want to try new stuff or new things um, to use, new products, stuff like that. Um, like I said, see, I can feel my second ear hole. <laughs> I can feel it. Like, I literally can feel it. Because when I got my second ear hole pierced, um, I eventually had got, like, a, little, a small keloid on there. It was terrible. I hated it. Um, but it got smaller as time went on and I used tea tree oil for that and it, it got smaller and that actually worked for me. Um, so now it's barely like a, anything back there, like as far as a bump or a scar or anything. So that is a plus in my opinion. I don't have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel the pressure here and here. I feel it in both. Um, hopefully you guys, I mean, it's August now, hopefully by September. Um... I mean, it's close to September now, so let me just, okay, because it's September, what, 23rd right now? So, I mean, shit, what the heck? Mm, Lord, I'm ready for the month to be over, clearly. The year, really, because 2020 is ass. But August is August 23rd right now. Um, So by, like I said, I'm going to give myself 10 days. So hopefully by the first week of September, we're all the way through. Like, this has been, it's pushed all the way in. And I feel a lot better about it. Um, and then I hope by the end of September, beginning of October maybe, I can have my double G's in there. Because right now these are eights. Remind you, I'm at just one single zero G. Um, which I did ask around and I asked people like, hey, was it really painful for you for when you went from... Um, you know, six to eight. I actually asked that question on Twitter and someone responded. I'll actually put that... If you guys want to see that, ask um, someone I knew because I knew she had gauges. You know, how was your experience? Because it was it's super painful for me. And she said that going from zero to double zero, zero G to double zero G is extremely painful. Um, but I hear like after that, it's a damn breeze. I'm really not sure. Everybody's experience clearly is different. So I'm going to do the process that um, Easy Breezy told me. And I'm going to, I think that if I continue to apply the hot rag as well, it'll help like as the days go on. It'll help my ears kind of loosen up a little bit more, too. Um, I also heard that if you kind of, like, use the taping method, that's a good thing, too. But I don't know what that is. Um, so, me personally, I just stuck to doing tapers. Some people don't recommend tapers at all. I just stuck to doing tapers because that's the way I've known the process to work. So, yeah. And I couldn't give up on my gauges because I bought this damn jewelry. So, I'm here now. And, um... I've already stretched my ears anyway, so it's like, I mean, I might as well just keep going. The pain cannot be that fucking bad. It just can't be. It cannot be. It's too many people with gauges at this point in life. Um, and eventually, I'll probably 
go back to using this jewelry. Um, I like to use this jewelry actually because it's solid. Um, the other kind is kind of flimsy. And um, yeah, I'm not really ready to use that just yet. But we'll see. Eventually as I, you know, of course, like I said, as I get more comfortable with it, um, I'll try different things. But I just, the whole point for me right now is just stretching my ears, getting them to the size I want. And I actually just want to go as far as to the double G's. I just want to get to the 10 mm. I may be considering 12 mm, but I'm really not sure. <laughs> we will see. Um, because this kit actually does not come with, it only goes up to the 10 mm. It does not go up to 12, anything higher than that. So if you want um, a higher number, like I would suggest getting like, I think, like I said, I believe these are the silicone ones. Um, they're very, let me take them out. These are 12 mm's here. Let's see. Is that, excuse my nails as well. I do hair, so it kind of hinders me from being a girly girl and getting my nails. Well, I do my own nails. Well, doing my nails, it just hinders me from doing that. So, yeah. And I'll eventually, you know, walk you guys through all that stuff as well. But right now, we just focus on this. And so, with that being said, you see, it, you can kind of bend it. And it just bends right on up. Like, it's just hella flimsy. Like, I could squish this thing. In it and so yeah but when you i saw a video on how you put it in your ear you kind of kind of have to um squeeze it and press it through it's like a weird little process but yeah these are the swells but as you can see they don't come with anything but the the jewelry that you put in your ear they don't come with tapers to stretch your ear they don't come with anything else so with that being said with these i believe you would have to have something else to get like something else to help you with the stretching to get that far but yeah um, thank you guys for looking at my video. Um, I'm going to keep you guys posted on this process. Um, I'll probably give you guys a five-day update. So like after day five, we'll see how much I've gotten and pushed through at that point. Um, and we'll pretty much go from there once I get them all the way through and I'm ready to switch my jewelry out. Because once you get them all the way in, you can just put the jewelry in. This is not jewelry. I'm not supposed to wear this as jewelry or wear it out. I'm not really trying to. I just right now don't have a choice because I'm like I said, I'm not trying to press my or bust my ears or um, put add any extra pressure on my uh, ears and apply any um, like paint. I don't want any paint. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, and we're just going to take our time and flow with the motion. Okay. So yeah, be on the lookout for my next video, guys. Um, and I will see you soon.